boy, when you tune in, you, you know exactly how much this is uh, very necessary. And, uh, you know, hats off for, for, for what you're doing. And I can't wait to be a part of it. Man, I really appreciate it. And uh, number one, thank you for supporting me since day one. You know, yes, sir. It means a lot. So here's our formal part. So it's Dr. William Hicks, right? So affectionately the second, because the second, yeah, because the first Hicks, is still Hicks. first is still hanging out. I hear you. Uh, affectionately known as BJ. So he's always been BJ since I've known him since mm -hmm. uh, we met in 2002 at Howard yep. University. But we'll get into that in a little. bit. Oh, so imposter syndrome, basically, you see it a lot in people who are high achieving individuals in various areas of of life. Um, but what it is, is like it's this internal feeling that you have that you're not good enough, even though you have achieved other things. It's this internal feeling that everybody thinks that you're a fraud. Right. So you may have a teacher, a very amazing, great teacher who may think that their students are going to find out that they are a fraud or you may see a lawyer who has made it all the way up the ranks and then she believes that her partners think that she sucks or you have a doctor who has gone through so many different amazing things and then feels like you know his partners or his colleagues or his patients may think that you know they are not just not up to snuff it's like these internal conversations that you have with yourself even though you don't get it from the external source. Like you're not getting it from your patients. You're not getting it from your colleagues. You're not getting it from whoever it may be. And it's very powerful, right? And particularly, I think in medicine, it is no joke, right? Like when you get into medical school, only 42% of people who apply to medical school get in, right? So you feel like when you, you get in where you fit in, right? And then afterwards, when you finish medical school, the whole process of trying to do residency training, that's the training where you do a specific specialty. It's based off of a computer right yeah, the match so, yeah it's the match so when you get in you're like whew i just made it the computer did you know it did it did you know i got i got lucky and i got in right so you're like a, a, ascribing all of these successes to all of these things but not you right and that's a very powerful feeling that carries all the way even when you finish residency and training press record that's what i would say press record get something done um, press record at least three times so you kind of get the hang of it and then from there you can work on the cover art um, all that other stuff and it can change our cover art has changed nothing is written in stone and the beauty of podcasting is it's your show you can do what you want with it so um, our show went through a few different iterations before it became what it is today even before it was just an audio show we've had different artwork different music so because you own it, you can do whatever you want with it and reach out. The podcast community is very open and giving. Um, we help each other. So whatever questions you have, reach out, get a mentor or just get a question answered. And we'll be there to support you along the way. Um, if you have something to say, there's somebody that wants to hear it. And that transformation is yours to give them. So be open. If it's on your heart, do it and there are people that will help you do it. All right, and welcome back to another episode of Time Out with the Sports Doctor. And today it is a solo episode, so it's just me. I'm here and you know, coming off a big week of celebration, uh, the triple threat of holidays. We have in, just coming off celebration of Father's Day, of course. So I'm going to still say Happy Father's Day to all the men out there, all the fathers to all the men that are filling the gaps um, for absent fathers, you know, be it uncles, coaches, stepfathers, whatever you may be, uh, we celebrate you for the role that you play, the important role that you play in the lives of children. Uh, we're also coming off the celebration of Juneteenth, uh, which is one of, this is the, one of the first times it's truly being celebrated as a federal holiday. Uh, so what is Juneteenth? Just strictly for educational purposes, Juneteenth is the celebration of the freedom of enslaved African Americans in America. Um, and this holiday has been in existence uh, truly since uh, June 19th, 1865, when the last enslaved African Americans were freed in Texas. And this is some two years after the Emancipation Proclamation uh, was in effect, but there were still people enslaved in America. So this has been a celebration in many different states of the United States, even since um, 1866. But uh, President 
Joe Biden signed it into to make it a federal holiday in 2021. So this is a big deal. Um, and it's freedom for all people. Um, and we're still fighting for justice and equality. Um, but the celebration of Juneteenth um, as a federal holiday is important to African Americans, is important to all Americans, and it's something that we're really proud of. And last but not least, um, June 20th, 2021, or June 20th, 2021, was marked the first episode for Time Out with the Sports Doctor. So we are officially one year old. This podcast is brought to you by Zero Gravity Skin, a prolific leader in the aesthetic devices market, delivering anti-aging, complexion clearing, hair growth, and pain management solutions across the globe. Featuring the Perfectio X, a two-in-one device which treats both pain and signs of aging and is actively working to reverse cell damage accumulated over time. Also, the Relaxio, which provides damaged cells with the vital energy necessary to quickly renew and recover in the most optimal way. For more information, please visit zerogravityskin.com and use code Dr. Derek 30 to receive 30% off your purchase. Again, that's zerogravityskin.com, promo code Dr. Derek 30. So today, what I would like to do is just kind of reflect, you know, as we move forward, we want to look back to see where we came from, where we are, and where we're going. Uh, so the birth of this podcast, you know, is really something that happened long before June of 2021. Really during 2020, in some of the early days in the pandemic, um, I had several Facebook live events to discuss the pandemic, to discuss the virus, had different hosts on. We even had three, four, five hosts, I mean, excuse me, three, four, five guests at a time on Facebook live. And that really gave me the courage to do something like this. Um, and then in later in August of 2020, Actually, my pastor told me about a, um, a competition for podcasting. At that point, I didn't even know what a trailer was. I entered that competition. My daughter filmed me on my iPhone. We made this one minute video, submitted. Um, they asked about your experience, didn't have any. They asked about a lot of different things that I didn't really understand, but I submitted. And I made it through the first round and was picked as a finalist to possibly be sponsored, uh, my podcast idea to be sponsored and developed. And at that point, it really gave me the courage to know that this is something that I can do and the idea that I'm on might be a good one. So I continue to work on it and continue to kind of ponder on it. But as many things in life, you know, you can ponder on it for years upon end, waiting for that idea to be perfect or waiting on it to manifest and without starting, it's not going to happen. So early in 2021, I enrolled in uh, the Passive MD uh, conference. And one of the first speakers in the conference, you probably heard this story before if you listened to prior episodes, uh, was Dr. Nee Darko. And he came on and he discussed his Docs Outside the Box podcast. And he discussed the reason why podcasting is so important uh, from physicians and professionals and when he was speaking, he's a trauma surgeon, I'm a orthopedic surgeon. I finally saw myself in the role as a podcaster. So immediately after that episode or after that course, I reached out to Dr. Darko and we talked some, I enrolled in his course, which was a 10 week course. And I already set a date for when I wanted to launch. And even though we were only about eight or nine weeks through the course at that time, I wanted to meet the date or the deadline that I set because I felt that doing that was a major hurdle, you know, as far as just getting started. And I really wanted to launch on Father's Day. And that's what I did. So we launched on Father's Day. Needless to say, it wasn't perfect, but the first three episodes were out there. And it's been a learning experience truly ever since, ever since. So one of the main things that I've learned, you know, during this whole process is the importance of coaching, because you can learn many lessons on your own, but in order to speed along that process of coaching can get you there. So we started off with an audio only podcast um, on 
major all the major platforms apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, spotify and i really did that for about the first nine to ten months but at the same time i was recording video and i would use those video recordings for promotional clips however i did not release the video for everyone to view but however now as of two weeks ago we now have a youtube uh, channel so before we get to where we are now, let's stick back to where we started. So I always wanted this show to be about, to reflect myself really as an orthopedic surgeon. And many of the lessons that I learned at the beginning of my career, five you know, years into my career, I wanted to share those same lessons with people who might be just finishing professional school or athletes, uh, finishing college, transitioning um, into their professional sports or finishing up as a professional athlete and transitioning into life and to just speak with other young professionals, other entrepreneurs who are facing these same uh, life lessons and learning on their own. So I wanted this podcast to be a medium um, that we could discuss topics that are, are relevant. I wanted to, to be a medium to share the backstories for other uh, first generation professionals, first generation physicians or just for people who have unique stories that might not be heard in mainstream media. So the intersection of life, sports, and medicine was kind of the theme of my show. And I had the three pillars that I wanted to help all listeners um, strengthen their mindset, grow their assets, and to give them practical tips that could help each listener achieve the level of success that they desire. And I know that success is defined differently by everybody. So it's really a personal journey and a personal definition of what success is. It's not my definition of success, not you know your parents' definition of success, not your, your colleagues' definition of success, but what each individual person deems success. And that's what I really wanna encourage you and inspire you to achieve in your life. The Sabre training bat is like no other training bat you've ever used before. So the purpose of the Sabre training bat with its modified barrel is so that you can perfectly sequence and get behind the ball, getting the bat on plane sooner, creating less miss hits, more line drives, higher batting averages, and more exit velocity. The Sabre training bat is the number one training bat on the market. Sabre Bats, the training bat that's going to take you to your best swing. So that's kind of the backstory. So where we are now, uh, we are, as I mentioned, we have an audio, a podcast. We now have video podcast for the last couple of weeks on YouTube. Uh, we now have a website. So. If you go to Dr. Derek, the sportsdoctor.com, that is really the central landing spot for this podcast. You can do everything you need to do from, it has all the episodes, audio episodes. You can now access uh, videos or YouTube channel through the website. You can give me feedback. Um, you can rate and review this uh, podcast. You can even leave me a voice message um, if you wanna ask a question. And that's one thing as we move forward, I really want to hear more from the audience about what you want to hear, about what questions you might have. And, you know, as I move forward, I would like to even entertain some live questions and answer them on the podcast uh, for the audience. So one other thing that uh, over the last several months, we've gotten several uh, sponsors or corporate partnerships, and I intentionally waited to approximately nine months or so. Uh, into podcasting before I started to do anything with sponsorships. I did not want to be swayed by, you know, $15 here, $30 here, $50 here, uh, because this podcast was not started as a monetary project for me. It was more of a passion project. So I didn't even look into some of the host sites have sponsorship. I didn't look into that until I really knew what I wanted for out of the podcast for myself and to show that I had consistency of uh, being able to show up week in and week out and produce content. And then one thing I'm very proud of is that on this podcast, we produce an episode every week. Uh, we're up to episode number 60 now over the last 52, 53 weeks. So 
consistency has been key. I think consistency has been one of the main reasons this podcast has been successful. Um, also, this podcast has been recognized uh, by Good Pies as the top podcast in the medicine division and climbing in the charts as well and, and self-improvement as well as health and fitness. And this podcast has been towards the top of their ranking over the last four to five months. So I feel that's why I've been able to achieve that success. It's due to consistency, due to showing up when I don't feel like it, showing up you know, when I don't want to sit behind this microphone and talk just by myself, uh, but learning how to do that when you don't feel like it is part of the process. So that's a message for someone out there who might be struggling with just getting started. You know, I can't make it to, I can't sit here on 620, 2022 and celebrate an anniversary without first starting. And I started without being ready, but I knew that I needed to get started to just feel, have the pressure of being behind the microphone, have uh, the butterflies and the nervousness to get that all out of the way so I could learn and grow. So kind of moving forward, some of my future plans for this podcast is continue to bring on great guests um, to do more collaborations with other podcasts, more collaborations with other uh, producers and creatives, uh, also to have some in-person events. So if you listen to the episode a few weeks back with Frederick Nettles, who is the CEO and producer of the segment, uh, live, the segment productions, he gave me an opportunity to be on his first live recording, in-person recording uh, back, I believe that was end of March. And that was a great opportunity with the Boys and Girls Club of North Mississippi. And I want to do more live events like that myself. So that's something to look forward to. Also, uh, to do more speaking engagements. I've been able to get out into the community to speak at some of the local schools, uh, but I also want to speak to other organizations, colleges, uh, corporations. So that's something that my coach that I'm working with now, Jonathan Jones, and the Get Paid with Podcasting community is something that we really work on is how to leverage your podcast for speaking engagements, how to leverage your podcast uh, for to be the authority in whatever your field you are, you know, so whatever field you're involved in. And I think that's something that's very important and something that's kind of slept on about podcasts is that the networking and the ability to meet and interact with other people that are like-minded. Uh, that's been something that's very, I guess, the human touch of being able to talk to other people, especially coming out of the podcast where we've been isolated and socially distanced and physically distanced. And, you know, in this technologically advanced society where we spend a lot of our time communicating via text message, but to actually sit down and have meaningful conversation with people is something that I really enjoy about the podcast. And it has also been a great learning experience for me. You know, I'm not a teacher. I'm not here to just teach an audience. This is a collaboration. Um, I learn from you each week. You learn from me. I learn <laughs> every time I interview someone, I've learned a new topic. I've learned a new strategy. I've learned something about investments. So this has really been a learning experience. And I've been able to share it with my children, with my family, um, and start conversations that we have not had. So that's been another just bonus that I did not really see coming from podcasting. So, you know, as I said, this has been a great year uh, for learning for me. I really look forward to the future. I look forward to uh, new corporate partners. I look forward to new sponsors to help this show uh, continue to grow. And I look forward to hearing from you as the audience. You know, I, it's really important not to just give me a review, but to give me feedback. And I really want to cover topics that are meaningful for those who are coming back week in and week out. So for those who have been here since day one, you know, thank you very much for your support. For those who are just coming on now, hey, thank you for coming in. And you know, hopefully you'll stay a while and let's learn and grow together. And that's really what this is all about at the end of the day. So if there's anything I can do to help any new um, any person who's interested in starting a podcast, please reach out to me. As I said, go to the website. You can send me a voicemail. You can send me a, a message. You can you know, also connect with me on Instagram or Facebook to keep up with the content because I know everyone doesn't want to sit down and listen to a 30 or 40 minute episode. That's why I try to give you these short one minute to three minute clips 
so you can still get something meaningful and then when you have time to go back and ingest more of it. So let's continue to grow together. I'm excited about the future and I hope you will continue to be a part of it. One last thing, you know, if you go to the website, it's been, it will collect your email. You might say, man, I've gave, given my email several months ago and never got a newsletter, but I can promise you it's coming year two. Uh, we're gonna send out newsletters, but I promise you I will not overwhelm you with emails because I hate when I get emails daily from anyone. After a while, I know I start to ignore it, but look out, you should be getting um, email updates. You know, now I'm working with a um, virtual assistant, which has been great for me to be able to do the things that are really important. I want to be able to record more, be able to collaborate more, and then allow someone else to take care of the technical parts of the show. So let's continue to learn and grow together. Uh, be blessed. Until later, peace. Thank you for continuing to support this podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, then please leave a five-star review. And if you haven't done so, subscribe so you continue to get the updated episode. Until later, peace.